This video talks about testing the extraocular muscles. Now in my experience I found that testing the extraocular muscles can be best achieved by an example. So let's go through the example that I've put here. So this is a 50 year old woman with double vision. Neurologic exam shows inability to elevate the right eye from the abducted position. Which muscle is paralyzed? So let's talk about Let's draw our scenario right here. So imagine this is our right eye because they were talking about the right eye. And the right eye is abducted and has inability to elevate. So first of all, the eye is going to be depressed like so because um, it cannot elevate the eye. And the eye is abducted. What does ABD mean? abduction mean abduction mean that it is moved away from the body so this is if this is our right eye this would probably be our nose so this would be adduction this would be abduction okay so our eyeball is going to be right here because we cannot elevate the eye so it's depressed and we cannot it's abducted so it's abducted in the abducted position and it is depressed. So this is how the eye looks like. Now the question says uh, which muscle is paralyzed? Now let's look at our extraocular muscles in general and how we do the whole scenario. So imagine that this is our eye and this is our right eye. Whenever we are moving away from the eye or we are moving laterally or we are abducting, we are testing for the muscle lateral rectus, which is cranial nerve 3. Whenever we are moving medially, or we are adducting, we are testing the muscle medial rectus, which is cranial nerve 3. Now, in this particular question, it gets a little more complicated than that, right? It's not only lateral movement or medial movement. They're, so, they're saying it's um, abducted and depressed. So we have to go beyond this. Now, whenever you can laterally move your eye or abduct your eye and have the ability to elevate your eye, we are talking about superior rectus. Superior rectus is also um, supplied by cranial nerve 3. Again, if this is superior rectus, the, the depressed, the, uh, the muscle that has the ability to depress it is inferior rectus, which also has cranial nerve 3. Now, what about the opposite? What if we can medially move our eye and has the ability to elevate after medial movement we're testing for inferior oblique, which is supplied by cranial nerve 3. And after ad adduction, if you can depress your eye, you're testing for superior oblique, which is supplied by cranial nerve 4. So let's go over it very quickly. Only the elevation and depression. If, you, if your eye has the ability to abduct and then elevate, we're talking about superior rectus. If your eye has the ability to abduct and depress, we're talking about inferior rectus being active. If your eye can medially uh, move your eye or adduct and elevate, we're talking about inferior oblique. If your eye can adduct and depress, we're talking about superior oblique. Now, um, in this case, our eye was right here, right? This our pupil was right here. So this eye has has lost the ability to abduct. It has the it's abducted, sorry, it's abducted and depressed. So that means the eye has lost the ability to elevate it. It's in the abducted position, so our lateral rectus is fine, but our superior rectus is gone because after abduction it has ability it has lost the ability to elevate the eye. So in this case, the right superior rectus is going to be the one that is going to be affected. 
what if it was the uh, other way around? What if the eye was, uh, eyeball was right here? Okay, you had adduction. Your adduction should have been fine. So your middle medial rectus would have been fine, but the eye has lost its ability to elevate. So our inferior oblique would have been damaged. Or what if the eye was here? Eyeball was here. In that case, the adduction is fine, but the ability to depress the eye, superior oblique, is damaged. So in this case, in that case, the, uh, the answer would have been superior oblique. But going back to our original question, our original question had our eye, which was adducted and um, depressed. So that's going to be our superior rectus.